Hey everyone, wanted to pop on and get a quick video out today on something that God was talking to me about this weekend. And basically he said to me that when we sit in the presence of God, he expands our vision. It's one of the benefits of hanging out in the presence of Jesus on a regular basis. And I was in a place of prayer for you guys this weekend and I just really felt God's heart and he was so grieved and I was like, God, what is going on? And he was like, my kids are dreaming and they're thinking way too low way too low. He was like, and it's causing them to settle in so many different areas of their life. And I was like, God, why? And he said, because they're not spending time in my presence. Amen. And as a result, they're not thinking as high and as big as I want them to in their personal lives. You know, scripture tells us that his ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And so God is always going to have you dreaming bigger and causing you to think in ways that are beyond your natural strength or ability. But when we think separate from God, and when we don't spend regular time in his presence, it causes us to settle for so much less than what he has for us a lot of the time. Amen? You know, it's also in the presence of God where we figure out what the true desires of our heart is and where he begin, begins to bring into alignment his desires that he has for our life, you know, with the desires that we have on the inside of us. You know, God is the one who knows the desires of your heart even more than you know the desires of your heart. Amen. And so part of this conversation that God was having with me is he was saying, Jill, I want to expand my people's vision because my ways are higher. My thoughts are higher. And when we don't have expanded vision, when we don't dream big with the Lord, it causes us to settle on a much lower level than what he has ever intended for us. And our desires, when we are not seeking him first and spending regular time in his presence could be off from his desires for us in our personal lives. Perhaps this is why in Matthew 6, 33, it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Then all these things will be added unto you. So often we kind of get the order wrong. We try to, in our own strength, go seeking after the things first without putting the presence of God first, without putting his kingdom first in our personal lives. And that right there is what causes you to settle. That right there is what causes counterfeits to come into your personal life. That right there is what kind of squashes dreams in our personal lives a lot of the time is because we're not seeking the kingdom of God first. Let me give you an example from my personal life this weekend. You know, God doesn't always do things according to our own logic or our own reason or things that we would think in our natural minds. As an example, this weekend I was hanging out in the presence of Jesus and just having some God time. And God started downloading some brand new desires that never in my life have been on my heart towards things that he wants me doing in the future, you know, um, places he wants to take me. Um, a little bit of talking to me about future ministry stuff, all of this stuff. And I want to tell you guys that none of the things that he downloaded to me in that prayer time were things that I would have naturally thought that I enjoyed, were things that I naturally would have seen myself doing because they were things that were so much bigger than me. And some of these things were things that were not in my natural skill set. Amen. And so me by myself trying to picture what my natural desires would look like and what all of this stuff would look like, I couldn't have put myself in this box or in this thing that God was telling me that I was supposed to move into in the future because in my own strength, this thing would not be a possibility. Amen? But because I was in that God's time, in a moment, he aligned my desires with his desires. And I realized that they were actually deep desires of my heart. It caused me to realize that, you know, I truly believe if I had not been in that God time that, you know, I might not have caught on as quickly to this. I could have tried to pursue stuff in my own strength, X, Y, Z, right? And so it's in the presence of God that he expands our vision and helps us to not settle for less than what he has for us. And he gets us in alignment so that we can step into the best that he has for us. Amen. You know, his ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So we are required to hang out in his presence on a regular basis if we want higher level things, higher level blessings in our personal lives, because in our natural thinking and just the way that we operate, we're not going to naturally tend to go towards those things in our own strength. 
Amen. You know, we've got to have Jesus showing us the way. We've got to be seeking kingdom first. And then all of these incredible things that he has for us can be added unto us. Amen. So don't settle in your personal life today. Make sure that you are spending regular time in the presence of Jesus. Because it's when we're in those times that he expands our visions, that he shows us the desires of our heart and his desires for us, and that he can help us to step into everything that he has for us in our personal lives. Amen. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll chat with you again soon.